Greetings to all of you that are listening to this broadcast today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm on several outlets across the network. I'm in LinkedIn, I'm Twitter, and then uh, several places that you can always find me in Facebook and course. And uh, I appreciate all of you that listen, all my friends and family. I'm thankful to God for all my cousins that listen to my broadcast and all my friends of previous churches. And thank you so much. And I hope that I can say something today that will be a blessing to you. I want to encourage you. My thought and theme for today is to encourage yourself in the Lord. You know, there's a lot of difficulties we come across in life, and we need to have encouragement. And many people uh, that are in the country today are going through difficult times because they have no jobs and they're having a hard time making a living right now. And there's many people across the waters over in Africa and Kenya and several places that I have been to minister that, that are having problems uh, trying to get enough money to have food to live on. So let us be thankful that we have something that God has blessed us with in America. We have been blessed in America in a great and a marvelous way. It's been such a great blessing to live in this country. I've been able to eat all kinds of food that I enjoy. Thank God for the blessings of God. I don't take that for granted. I'm very thankful that God has helped me. We don't know how long that can continue, but as long as God is on our side, we can always ask God for help and he will give us help. I want to talk to you about uh, David encouraged himself in the Lord. We found that setting in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. That was when David was attempting to join the Philistine armies to fight against Saul. There was a situation come up to where he left all of his family and all of his men that went with him left their families in Ziglag. And so he went on to, uh, to pursue that. And when he come back, all of his places has been burned. His wives had been taken. All of the men and families had been taken. And uh, they had, the Philistines had carried them off. The Amalekites had taken them into a never place. And it was a really different situa situation. The men cried out when there hardly wasn't anything more, more to cry about. They were just in such grief and such pain because they lost everything in their family. They thought at that time they'd lost everything. But they really hadn't lost everything, but they were going to recover it. And so David said in, in chapter 30, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, he encouraged himself in the Lord because they were threatened to stone him and kill him because they had trusted him and entrusted his families and it seemed like they had been betrayed. So David sought the Lord and the Lord said to go ahead and pursue the Amalekites. And so he pursued the enemy and he went back and uh, recovered everything that they had lost. Isn't that amazing? He went back and uh, the men uh, were encouraged because they know not one life was lost, no one died, and they brought them all back to Ziglag. And I, I think it's really a, a really interesting thing that uh, God and wants us to be encouraged. Regardless of what your circumstances is, if you're having a trouble finding a job, if you're dealing with the coronavirus, if you're dealing with some kind of sickness or illness, uh, or if you're dealing with children that are having difficult times, and I'm sure you are, let me encourage you in the Lord and draw encouragement in the Lord. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to hold your hand. He will never let go of your hand. He's always got your back. If you will listen to the Lord and follow him, you know, when, when David was pursuing the enemy, he went three days without any food whatsoever. In fact, they couldn't even cross a brook because they didn't have strength enough to hit a cross. But God put some food in their way with a young man who helped them to get food to give them strength. And you know, it's a terrible thing to try to march against the enemy without anything to eat. But God will give you strength and power and courage if you'll just look up. You know, we have a Bible. That's what it's for, to stand on the promises of God and hold to God's unchanging hand. I want to encourage you today. I want to help you lift up your hands of your family members and all you're concerned about. If you have a prayer request, please let me know about that, and I will pray about it. And thank you so much, and I want to encourage you so much. Strengthen your hands and uh, look to the Lord for his guidance, and he will surely be with you. Thank you so much for listening to the broadcast today. 
It's great having friends like you, and it's great to be able to come and minister across the country and across the world through social media. And God bless you so much today, and I'll talk to you again real soon.